40-year-old Yulia Vitkovska is a nurse and reservist for Territorial Defense Forces in northeastern Ukraine. Being some 50 kilometers from the Russian border is not far. One full salvo from a BM-21 grad and the city of Sumy is in ruins. What should I do? Sit in these ruins and wait for someone to come and save us? No, no. If there is a need, I'll do my best to get my family out of here. My mom is elderly and she is sick. My son is a student. I'll make sure they leave, but I'll stay. I don't want to leave my home for some occupant to live here. Activist Andriy Bukin says she's not alone. Two-thirds of my friends, if not more, will protect our Sumi region and the city through either official or volunteer organizations. The issue is especially acute if the little green men show up, just like in 2014 in Crimea. This is Kostantinovka, one of about 30 cities in the Sumi region near the Russian border. Over there, on the other side, you can see where vegetable patches end. There's Russia. People's vegetable patches stretch right up to the border. Mikola Taranik is chairman of the Khatin Amalgamated Territorial Community, which includes 10 local villages. So far, he says, there hasn't been much activity. Sometimes we see planes pass by, small ones, maybe border forces. At times, I can see our planes as well as theirs. It's been quiet. Still, people are anxious. People aren't leaving, but you can feel the tension. They used to talk about gas, rising food prices, politics. And today, whenever people meet, by a store or anywhere else, they always say, well, have you heard anything? Is there going to be war or not? Local officials say there is talk about increasing the number of military forces in the Sumi region. Together with the Ministry of Defense, we're discussing the possibility to have one or two more brigades here. Over February, we'll hold drills for the Territorial Defense Forces. It'll be a full-scale drill. But Yulia Vitkovska says they aren't as prepared as they should be. I don't see the appropriate response from the structures that need to deal with this in such a difficult time. It's impossible to learn during one or two drills. Vitkovska now plans to start civil defense courses together with some of her friends, as they continue to prepare for an uncertain future. For Alena Adamenko in the Sumi region, Ukraine, NRI's VOA News.